Sarah from Average Betty here, and I'm making the Potato Volcano, a unique creation from Chef David Chang of Mamafuku Milk Bar in New York City. One thing you should know about the Potato Volcano, this is not your average Average Betty recipe. In fact, anyone that successfully pulls off the Potato Volcano should receive some sort of culinary school credit. But don't be scared, we'll climb this proverbial mountain or volcano together. Peel Idaho potatoes and slice into thin pieces, like this. Now you could use leftover scallop potato for this dish, but we're going for culinary school credit after all. In a bowl, combine buttermilk, salt, and pepper. Submerge and soak the potato pieces in the buttermilk. Line a loaf pan with wax or parchment paper. Layer the potatoes with a little bit of butter all the way to the top. Cover this and bake in the oven. While our potatoes are baking, I'm going to make a simple yeast dough, AKA white bread. Here's brown sugar in some warm water. Here's the yeast. Wait for the bloom. It's like a baker's fireworks show. Add flour. Add a little oil. Add salt. Add flour until you have dough. It should be sticky. Knead this into a ball, cover, and allow it to rise. Next, I'm going to caramelize some onions. In a skillet, heat a little olive oil and add thinly sliced onion. Let this cook for about five minutes without stirring, and then continue cooking and stirring until you have something that looks like this. Mmm. If you think we're almost done, simmer down. We're just getting started. I'm going to make a Gruyere Mornay sauce. This will be the magma of our potato volcano. First, add flour to melted butter and make a roux. Whisk vigorously until it's golden. Add some milk, keep whisking, and this is shredded Gruyere cheese. And voila! A mother magma sauce. Let's check on the dough. Punch it down and let it rise again. Now back to the potatoes. They're baked all the way through, they're nice and tender. I've cooled them off a bit, and I'm going to put this other pan on top that I've weighed down, and it's gonna compress our potatoes. After they've cooled completely, you can pop them from the pan. And if it looks like mine shrunk a little bit, they did. We ate some and they were delicious. Cut the potatoes into one inch cubes. You can trim them up a bit, see the layers? Fancy! Now fry these just until the outsides are golden. We've made it to the home stretch. It's time to make the potato volcanoes. I've got my dough portioned out, my caramelized onions, and I've got my Mornay sauce in this handy squeeze bottle. Remember, this is cheese sauce, not sports drink, so don't go crazy. On a floured board, roll out the dough, top with a little shredded Gruyere. Did I mention bacon? Now add these gorgeous caramelized onions and our super fancy pave potato. Wrap this up, tucking and pinching as you go, like this. I've got a little cornmeal on an old baking sheet. Maybe it's just me, but it seemed wrong to bake something called a volcano on your best baking sheet. Place the Volcanus preeruptus on the baking sheet, seam side down. Cut a small X on top to make the volcano hole. If you forget this step, your entire house might blow up. Okay, just kidding, but I don't know what happens. Brush with beaten egg and top with just a little more Gruyere. Bake these in the oven until they're golden and erupting. Well, until they're bubbling anyway. Pipe in some of the Mornay magma. And there you have it, the Potato Volcano, and your Average Betty Culinary School credit. Get the Potato Volcano recipe at AverageBetty.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mmm, Potato Volcano.